the changes today actually make things much simpler. What it means is you won't have to take that pre-departure test before you come back to the UK if you're fully jabbed. So that will save people money. It will also save them enormous distress in trying to find a test when you're abroad. But there are still layers of complexity in place. And for many people, there's still a lot of cost involved in taking that test up to day two. It's a PCR test still until the end of October. And, of course, you've got to fill in an online lo passenger locator form before you come back to the UK. So there are still far too many elements in place which weren't there before the pandemic. And we've got to get back to where we were pre-pandemic. Yeah, absolutely, because um, many of the sort of travel industry and many of the airlines were really positive about these moves when they were announced. But there were some saying, well, this doesn't go far enough because you're still, if you're vaccinated, still having to do tests on your day two. And for many, particularly families on lower income, that's, that's going to really put you off from travelling. Yes, uh, we have seen a surge in bookings across the sector in the last couple of weeks since these changes were announced. So we're getting back on track. But the whole industry is still operating at only 60% of what it was pre-pandemic. There have been thousands of job losses, especially among cabin crew and pilots. Uh, and we haven't seen the sector return as fast uh, back to normal as other sectors have, have seen. So it's still many issues. And of course, the fundamental problem is still that the UK has a red list. And you have to wonder why there has to be a red list. We saw Ireland last week immediately abandon their red list and hotel quarantine policy. We've seen Australia do the same in recent days. The UK is seeing the same data as every other chief medical officer. So why isn't the UK now abandoning that red list and relying on individual risk? If you're fully jabbed, you should be able to travel anywhere and you're lower risk. So we need to see those changes from the government. And I hope later this week we'll see a massive change to the red list.